Battlefield 3. At E3, we had a talk with one of the developers regarding Battlefield 3, what he had to say about the game and more, you can hear right here. It's been very hectic here at E3, it's always hectic, So, but this, this time it's uh, overwhelming. You brought out a new engine, what else is different in the game? Uh, I would say everything and nothing, because again, it's a Battlefield game, so you can't change the formula, it's still the same sport. Uh, we still have the vehicles, we still have the open landscapes, we still have the you know perfectly balanced uh, infantry experience. Uh, and of course we're keeping that, you know, what's new is that it will feel completely different. You will feel like you're playing a game from the next generation. The goal is to make sure that, you know, you're immersed into the battlefield in a way that you've never seen before. And of course the engine helps us do that with, you know, everything from lighting to destruction, animation, audio, and of course the scale of the, of the maps. Was there anything in the previous games where you knew this we have to do better or if we change this everything gets better? Uh, well, of course, you actually you always find small things like, oh, you want to change this, you want to change that. But the big thing was actually that we wanted to make the game feel like you know, uh, you know, next generation game. And to do that, you can't just add one thing or change, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a small thing or add more weapons. You need to go back to the roots and kind of rebuild the engine uh, so it fits what what your vision is, and then you know, build the game up from scratch more or less. And and when we're doing that, we can see that we're fixing a lot of the issues that we had, and we're also moving into something that we haven't seen before. There's so many people doing comparisons with this game and one over three, putting them up together. Do you even feel that? That you're doing the same thing? No, I honestly, I, we're not trying to build their game. They're not trying to build our game. We're trying to build the best Battlefield game that we ever built, and I think you know people see that when they play it. We're not trying to you know copy each other, and I think the important thing is that what is the game you want to play? And I think you know Battlefield has now proven uh, with the last couple of Battlefield games that you know this is a very very attractive ba uh, first person experience. What was the coolest possibilities with the new engine? Uh, I think I think in general it's it's the way how things just come to life. You know, it, you know, putting your boots on the ground it actually feels more physical. We you know we learned a lot of things with you know other dice games like Mirror's Edge on you know creating a great first person experience and moving a lot of those ideas into the Battlefield franchise where now can you can hurdle over things, you can see your own body. You know, it, it feels like a more visceral and, and physical experience, and and I think people notice that when they play it. So there's no Battlefield Parkour edition coming out soon. <laughs> well. <laughs> there is some parkour in this game when you hurdle over things and stuff like that and you know we bring him prone back and you know there's there's a lot of things that will make it feel uh, you know more physical and not not really parkour maybe but you know it's it's more fun to blow things up than to jump on a on a roof right <laughs> how long would the single player part be uh, we don't have a, had any numbers to give out just yet but you know our goal is of course to give you know a, a you know money money's worth of of the single player experience Please let us know what you think about the game and more in the comment section below. And also feel free to like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here on Pixel TV. Stay tuned for more gaming awesomeness.